Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in this video we will uh, set up our turn in place for motion matching. So this is where we have left out previously. We have the uh, run starts, run loop, pivots, everything uh, was working fine. So everything related to turning uh, is totally set up in our motion matching project. And today we will set up our turn in place. So let's get right into it. Okay, so if I open my animation blueprint, here is my animation blueprint, and let's just first open our character blueprint. So you need to, uh, you need to see this thing that we have our rotation rate is set to minus one, which means if I debug my uh, capsule rotation, if I add an arrow for debug so so our rotation rate is set to minus one which means we will snap towards the desired rotation uh, let me set the capsule to hidden in game to false yeah Here you can see. Uh, you can see the arrow. Uh, as soon as I hit the input, the arrow is just snapping around because we don't have any rotation rate setup. So our capsule immediately turns towards the desired direction. For example, here. So our we have this offset root bone inside our animation graph which makes our character to stay in place without uh, without uh, snapping so if i debug that node you will see that my character also snapping so we have this offset root bone and our capsule immediately turns now we need we uh, now we need to detect when the turn in play should trigger so in order to trigger uh, in order to uh, find that out we have our analysis function already where we have find out should perform spin transition it's a similar function for turn in place i will duplicate this and call this should perform turn in place so I'm gonna uh, I'm getting my actor rotation and getting the current rotation of our root bone. And if that uh, delta between these two uh, is greater than let's say 45, we will perform turn in place. So if I debug that function over here should perform turn in place you will see as soon as I offset from my uh, mesh rotation towards uh, greater than 45 angle our turn is place set to true see and if I switch back switch to the velocity based movement and when I gave, let's say, a left direction input, it immediately sets to true. Because if I debug my capsule rotation, you will see capsule rotation immediately set to minus 90. But our character, our mesh rotation stays at place. So this means our turn in place sets to true. This is the simple function, getting the actor rotation, delta between our offset, uh, our mesh rotation. So our turn in place function is set up. Now let's uh, set up the one more condition because when we are in strafing mode, when we rotate the camera, you will see that our turn in place immediately set to true, but we don't want that. We want uh, that when we, want, when we 
press right mouse button or aim button then we want the condition to be true so we already have this condition inside our character blueprint you can create a new one like when we, when you press right mouse button uh, set the aim to true so i have this in my character blueprint i'm gonna get my player character so we have our if i search for node sorry let me just see the nodes state input state so we have our input state input state points to aim so when i right mouse uh, when i click right mouse button you will see that our this variable sets to true see when i release this uh, right mouse button it sets to false so when we i will use this check inside my function should perform turning place and wants to aim true then we will set this function to true here you will see when i press right mouse button our uh, function sets to true so this is for strafing and let's say when we are in velocity based movement like forward facing movement so when do we want this function to be true so in order to set that function to true we need to uh, compare our current movement state with our last movement state so if that was not equals then uh, which means we are uh, we were moving for last uh, we were moving last frame and then we will check our rotation difference to see if uh, we can perform turn in place or not so for for that i'm going to place an or node over here get my get locomotion state last locomotion state if both are not equal which means we were moving last frame if that was the case then set this condition to true as well and then check the angle now if i switch to the velocity based movement you you will see for a fraction of frame we are setting up our turn in place to true over here you will see for one frame uh, for fraction of frame we are setting up to true so this is uh, more than enough to trigger our turn in place transitions so our conditions are done now now let's set up our database for turn in place i'm going to go to my animations database folder create a new database motion matching for search database with the default schema for search database and turn in place all right so we have turn in place animation inside our idle folder i'm going to search for turn 45 90 35 and 180s both left and right side so these are our turn in place animations okay and we will set our for search normalization set put this database in uh, in our normalization set and i'm going to set the continuous pause bias to negative 0.5 so now let's go to our chooser to select this database based on the uh, function we have created chooser so turn in place can only trigger when we are in idle state so i'm going to open my stand idles add a new row and add a turn in place so we need, now we need a condition to trigger this should perform turn in place so when this variable sets to true we will perform turn in place now let's 
finger crossed and then let's see what happened all right now you can notice that we our character can perform turn in place see when we are in forward facing movement uh, this is not working for forward facing movement just a second we will see what is wrong okay so in order to find out what is wrong I'm gonna use the rewind debugger and see what is happening I will record the session and here we can see when we perform turn in place our character is not going into the turn in place animation so I'm gonna grab my rewind debugger so here we have this output result of pause search okay mm. come on I'm gonna see the database name which we have selected yeah so we have selected the spin transition as a start and then going to the stop animation we are not triggering the turn in place database so let's find out what is happening inside chooser so if I open my chooser select my character sandbox character as a debug so we are going to the run state right and then we when we release input we are immediately going to the idle state so this is this is right like chooser is totally working fine we are switching between two states like a run and going to idle and also when we are idle we can see that turn in place is true turn in place is true okay so chooser is totally working fine now I uh, I know what is happening uh, we need to uh, fix this inside our animation blueprint so I will stop open my animation blueprint and inside our motion matching function we have a function uh, inside of our motion matching node we have a function which we call at every frame on update motion matching so in this uh, function in this thread set function we are evaluating chooser and chooser gave us the output results of the databases so as we have just seen that chooser is totally working fine chooser is uh, giving us the, these three databases but the issue is this function set database to search so this function is not picking the right database so we have this interrupt mode here so we uh, I have intentionally not set, uh, set up this uh, interrupt mode from the beginning because I want to show you guys a practical example what is the purpose of this interrupt mode uh, currently we can see uh, we have said this to do not interrupt means uh, we will continue the pause search until the animation ends and then uh, blends into the next database so currently uh, you can see what is happening when we start uh, the animation keeps playing because of the cost bias and then when animation play uh, ends it then uh, change the database to stop so we don't want that functionality we want the database to interrupt immediately as soon as our locomotion state changes so let's say when we are blending from uh, walk to run or run to walk run to idle walk to idle we want the database to uh, interrupt immediately we don't want the 
continue pause to keep playing so in order to fix that uh, let me create a new function I'm gonna call it get motion matching interrupt mode we will have the output and the output result will be our pause search interrupt mode interrupt search interrupt actually what I will do is I will promote this to a variable now we have the type of variable and then inside of our function I'm gonna set this to an output now we we can see e pause search interrupt more type I don't need this uh, variable anymore okay so I'm I'm gonna call this return value so we don't uh, we want to change the uh, state to interrupt on database change as soon as the locomotion state changes so if I'm gonna use a select use the same function uh, same condition as we are doing in should turn, uh, perform turn in place so if our locomotion state is not equal to our last locomotion state then if this is condition is true we want interrupt database interrupt on database change so if this condition remain false we don't we do not want to interrupt okay so I'm gonna call it thread safe and pure I'm gonna grab it over here set the category to motion matching and call it from here so now what we are doing we are saying the motion matching to interrupt the current playing database as soon as the locomotion state changes and blend towards the next database now if I hit play here you can see we are uh, playing the turn in place animation see and as uh, as like uh, we are also performing turn in place for our strafing mode see this is looking really cool now all right guys so our turn in place functionality is done so I hope you guys like this video and let me know your feedback in the comment section and I will see you in the next one. Bye.